what's our calc gang? So here we got this problem, and it wants us to find the vector and parametric equation for a line. So I'm sitting down today because I feel like it. So it says through the point 4, 2, negative 3 in parallel to this vector. So we need to first know an equation, basically. What this is, is it's a vector, right? So this vector, this is basically saying that this vector is equal to, uh, so it's, this is an initial point, x naught, y naught, and z naught, all represent just a point on the line that it starts at. And then plus t of a, or t of b, or t of c. So t is just a scalar, basically. What it says is, imagine you have a vector. If you multiply it by a number, it'll get bigger, or it'll go smaller, or it'll turn around. But it'll be the same direction starting at the same point. So what that t does is it just determines how long it is, how short it is. And a is a vector, basically. That is like the direction that it's pointing in. So a is like an it's x component, y is its b, or b is its y component, and c is its z component. So let's see what we got here. Well, it says through 4, 2, negative 3, so we can use that as x naught, y naught, z naught, in parallel to another vector, which that is what we can actually use for a, b, and c. All right, so we can say that our vector is equal to, so x naught, 4, plus t of 2, right? And then, so 2 plus t of b, so negative 1. Negative 3 plus t of 6, right? Or t times 6. All right, so this is not actually a vector form, but this tells us a vector form, right? What this says is that x is equal to 4 plus 2t, y is equal to 2 minus t, and uh, z is equal to negative 3 plus 6t. All right, so this right here is not actually a vector or a parametric form. This is just a general form, basically, is how you can put it. But another form you can write this in is uh, a vector form. So how about we write it like this? Vector is equal to. So let's just bring out our constant, our original point, x naught, y naught, and z naught. We're gonna put that in its own vector, right? Four, two, negative three. Same thing, goes to that point. Then it's gonna be plus t. Effect, and then our uh, parallel vector, basically. Our same vector, which is just the here. We're bringing out the t, basically. So it's gonna be two, negative one, six, right? Now, what is this? This actually is the exact same thing. If you go ahead and dispute the math, the t's will go in, and then it'll add, and it'll just give you this same form. But this is a vector equation right here. This tells you a lot. It basically tells you a starting point, a point on the vector, and the component of the vector, which x, y, and z, like direction it points in. So that's pretty handy, right? So what we can do now is we can actually write in our parametric form after this. So what does this original thing tell us, right? It says that x is equal to this, y is equal to this, and c is equal to this, right? Well, I just spoke the answer, right? Let's just put it down. x is equal to 4 plus 2t, y is equal to 2 minus t, and z is equal to negative 3 plus 6t. That is our parametric form right there. Pretty simple enough. And this actually also tells you the exact same thing as this. These are all the same thing, just in different forms. And what they all tell you is that it's a, a line with a point 4, 2, negative 3 in the direction 2, negative t, or 2, negative 1, 6. That's the way it points. Pretty cool, right? So yeah, uh, this is how you solve these kind of problems, and uh, yeah, good luck.